Welcome to Google Ads tutorial. My name is Johanny Schwanau and I will teach you how to become highly successful with Google AdWords. In this video, I will show you how to set up account, how to withdraw $150 uh, coupon code, how to set up campaigns, ad groups, ads, how to research your keywords through the Keywords Planner, and how to manage your own campaigns. So if you are a business owner and you're interested to learn more about the Google AdWords, this video is for you. Let's start by going to ads.google.com. Make sure you have a Gmail account or any G Suite accounts to sign up with Google Ads. So let's start with clicking bottom start now. I will use my uh, email over here, which I currently have, um, password. Then we are going to set up new Google Ads account. I already have kind of pre demo one. Again, I will enter my password. And we get redirected to a small dashboard for Google Ads. So before you start anything over here, there's a two types of Google AdWords. One of them is focusing advertising on the maps. It's called Google Express or Google Maps. And another one is a regular Google AdWords. Uh, so as you see over here in the bottom, we see a speci special mode. So let's switch to the expert mode, which is allow us to advertise on the search, display, shopping, um, generate some leads, traffic, and so on, so on. After that, we need to pick uh, these are different types of campaigns. So guys, if you e-commerce business and you sell something online, you definitely need to try it with the sales. If you are a brick and mortar business and service-based company, highly recommend to work with the leads if you just want to generate some traffic and leads, website traffic campaign is for you. Product and brand consideration is most likely working for video campaigns and display campaigns, and as well as website traffic. Brand awareness, working the same as the Facebook ads uh, for the display, video, and search. Ad promotions, it's for, of course, for the apps, if you guys uh, have any apps. Uh, this one will be for you and also you can create custom one with a lot of features since i'm digital marketer marketer i will use a lead campaign with search traffic so the goal is to drive traffic and generate some leads i do have already a website uh, my personal website in this particular case i will use this link then start tracking and track Okay, we already we will skip this one. So let's start with setting up campaigns. If you guys are dentist, lawyer, any commerce business, start by naming campaign by your business name. So I will use uh, my first name, you know, Henny for now, and then the campaign type. So see, this is a search campaign. We will type search campaign. So we will know this one is search one, and. Also, we will remove display network. So search network is only showing our ads on the search result. If someone typing in the Google search lawyer, you'll pop up in the first four positions. Display network, it's uh, a little bit different strategy. In this case, we will go only through search network and partners. Make sure you also include the partners. Then click show more settings. We will go through step by step, start and end dates. I would recommend you to start campaigns right away. Don't use end campaigns because it will destroy your quality score of the ads. It will destroy your ranking and you'll get a higher CPC if you pause your campaigns and then enable them again. Campaign URL, leave it as it is. Dynamic search ads, leave it as it is. Uh, scroll down, locations. So this is important. You need to know your location where you advertise. In my case, I will use right now United States and Canada, or just let's skip and use only United States. Uh, then click location options. Uh, this is where it's really getting tricky because uh, some of you, for example, working in one state, you don't want people from another state shopping or just go to your website and try to contact with you. So these are different types of target. Make sure you click people in or regularly in your target locations. It meaning the most likely uh, in right now are in location. For example, I'm in, uh, in New York or Connecticut or Illinois. For example, I'm in Illinois right now. If someone from Connecticut or from New York will looking for services in Illinois, 
our ads will not show up because we're trying to work only with Illinois residents. Uh, if we click the first one, in this case, if someone were looking from Connecticut for my services in Illinois, we will pop up. And people searching for your target location. This one is specifically. So, for example, if I'm typing um, digital marketer in Illinois, if I only mention that, my ad will pop up. So I, I mostly likely work, I like to work with the first position, but if you example in a healthcare or in law, use the second one. I will keep it in the first position. Exclude, leave it as it is, languages. So in regards to the languages, since in US I'm use English, if you guys in Canada, you can use both English and French. Uh, what does it mean? It will automatically, uh, you can just click over here a small question mark and it will answer all of your concerns you can click learn more and a small pop-up on the right side will uh, show you up what is exactly it is but most of the time it will it's saying language targeting allows you to restrict where your ads can appear based on the user's language settings and language is on these sites again most likely it will be for display campaigns uh, but I always recommend to use both languages if you're in Canada or Italy or any other countries. Then click audiences. Uh, we keep it as it is. We're working right now with a search campaign budget. This is what most of my clients, prospects, uh, consulting clients asking me, uh, what is, how much you recommend to spend in a Google AdWords? My answer is always, you need to have a minimum threshold, which is uh, around $600 if you advertise in a few zip codes, if you advertise in a large city, it's $1,500, if you try to advertise in a state, it's like $2,000, and if you're trying to advertise in a nationwide campaign, of course, like be prepared that you will spend at least $3,000. Again, it depends on your niche. But you need to be honest with yourself. If you're trying to close the deals for $2,000, $5,000, expect to spend some money to get results. Uh, in this particular case, I will use uh, $50 per day budget. Um, the next question a lot of people ask me, what is the bidding strategy? And a lot of gurus, a lot of people are setting up bidding strategy for CPA or uh, automated bid strategy it is biggest no-no in this particular case so how Google AdWords work you need to have data first you need to collect terms you need to collect keywords you need to a B test your ads to see what is actually working what is not so when you're collecting the data you will kind of understand what will work so if you keep what will work and if it's not you pause them and in the sense of two to three months, you see like oh, what will happen. So I will not go through this. I will switch right now. Bidding strategy, we always start with manual CPC. So we control bid and we start with the 25 cents. Uh, I will show you later how to set this up. Uh, click show more settings, conversions. Uh, right now we don't have any conversions. This is new account. Uh, click all day, uh, your ads all day. I highly recommend if you're working I don't know, healthcare, law office, you're working from nine to five, keep ads 24 seven. You will not lose your quality score position. Uh, you will get a cheaper CPC bids actually after hours and at night time than in, in actual working hours. Also run, try to run ads on the weekends. This is most likely people start shopping. Uh, they just doing a lot of research. Ad rotation, uh, keep it as it is then it's important thing is extensions so a lot of my clients asking me what is this extensions i will literally show you right now by opening your ad type ppc management so this is uh, extensions this is four types there's like a lot of types of, of extensions you can see them over here uh, the first one is site link extensions this is site links over here they allow you to add additional links to your website through the ads. So if I click right now to this one, it's already directed to pricing page. If you all click on free performance report, it's already directed to specific page. Um, I hope this makes sense. The next one is call out extensions, or I call them bullet point extensions. Actually, let's start send them up. I'll start with uh, cycling extension. So the first one will be um, my name.
description. Google allows you to have uh, first line and second line, as you see over here. So I will use Google Ads Services. Google Ads Services, Google Ads for Beginners. I have a special program here, final URL. Um, I, my recommendation always have two, four, six site link extensions. If you have one or three, um, they will not show on the ads. So make sure you have all of them. Then click about or just to switch Google Ads for beginners. I already have some content on my website. Okay. Like that. Uh, the same, I can use the same URL. If you have a corporate website, you can use uh, different URLs. about training established Google Ads okay. looks good uh, I will skip three four but I highly recommend to have three and four uh, click Save then we're going to call out extensions, which are, is bullet points. Um, we will have 100% of clients. Uh, with the same with the call out extension, we use four of them, two, four, six. So let's start. And this is how they look like PPC management company. So this is the PPC extensions award winning agency risk free consultation so your main bullet points um, actually we can use the same ones risk free consultation training okay And the fourth one will be this one. Um, mm -hmm. Let's do this one. Three, seven days online training. Click save. Awesome. Then call extension, which is a phone number. Uh, all the time, use your phone number from the website. It will allow you to verify phone number right away. If you don't have it, uh, Google will disapprove you. This is how it looks like um, a phone number. It's uh, over here. So most of the people who will see the ads, they will grab the phone right away and call you without the clicking the ad. So I will use our office phone number. Call reporting, click on, so on the Google AdWords site, you will see reports, click save. And structure snippet extension. So this one is really tricky because um, a lot of people don't use this extension, but it's really important to have that one. It will allow you to add additional services, additional programs to your current ad. Uh, as you see, um, there's amenities, bands, brands, courses, uh, programs, service catalog, shows, styles. In my case, I offer free training. I will use uh, courses, uh, Google Ads course, Google Ads, Google Analytics, Google Tech, Google Merchant Center. Google Shopping, 
and so on and so on. You can add as much as you want. Uh, I will show you an example right now from one, one of the competitors over here. So this is structure snippet extension, which is saying services, online advertising, PPC advertising, social advertising. Again, in my case, it's different. If you are, again, dentist, lawyers, if you're dentist, you will use service catalog and you will pick uh, dental implants, orthodontists, cleaning services, uh, x-ray services like fields and so on. If you're a lawyer, bankruptcy lawyer, real estate lawyer and so on and so on. I hope that makes sense. If that makes sense, just comment on the video below, uh, click save. And again, if you're not app company, don't use app extension, lead form extension, don't have any success ever with that one. So leave it as it is, uh, message extensions, leave it as it is, promotions. If you e-commerce store and you have some promotions, seasonal promotions, definitely highly recommend it. You will see on the ads of 50% off for example, for Christmas. Uh, and the dates, of course, of the promotion. Price extension, leave it as it is, don't use it. We see a huge drop in sales when we use price extensions on the ads. And location extension is when you connect your Google Maps with Google AdWords. So next time when someone looking for your business, you have a, a line with, with a Google Maps URL. So if they click on this URL, they redirect it to the Google Maps, again, not recommended to use for this particular strategy you will waste your words broad match phrase match exact match and modified broad match uh, modified broad match again if you have a lot of questions about that just comment but i would like to move forward to set up but most of the time use broad modified phrase and exact match so this is um, you can click over here learn more and it will be pop up and explain you what is meaning uh, each uh, keyword match Okay, if you have a new ad group, click over here, but I will finish at this moment, click save and continue. And we're going to the most important part is ad copies. Uh, there's a few variations of the ads, responsive ad and text ads for search. Uh, you will see examples right now over here. We start with responsive ad, uh, but we can actually, let's do this, switch back to text ad, click yes, switch. And right now we have a basic ad. So let's start with final URL. Make sure you already have your URL. Then go to headline, already prepared headline. 
learn Google Ads, get resource for beginners, get access to the training. So this is the three headlines as you see, this is how people will see my ad um, or your ad if you try to follow the steps. Path, never use the path. We have tried so many times with so many clients, with hundreds of clients, all the time we see a huge drop on conversions and also highest increase on cost per click side. Not sure why, uh, it's kind of additional line over here as you see, but don't use it. My best experience is leave it as it is. Um, descriptions, so Google allows us to have two descriptions right now. One of them will show the 100%, another one sometimes on the desktop, sometimes on the mobile. As you see, this is how our ad looks like right now. Looks great, not like our competitors. Uh, they have only one description, we already uh, have two. They have two headlines, we already have three headlines. So make sure you do your own research on the competitors, see what kind of mistakes they're making, so you can basically uh, set up a proper campaign. It looks good, uh, then click done and create new next ad. Okay, I already prepared everything, so just copy headlines and paste them to Google. Let's click on. I have ad copies. Three, seven days training. Click done. Awesome. And also make sure you have at least two text ads, as you see over here, text ads and one responsive ad. So what the difference is between text ad and responsive ad is really simple. Text ad, you manually create headlines, uh, descriptions. With the responsive ad, we can add as many headlines as we want. Again, if you want to learn more about that, just click uh, question icon and it will explain you what's what is this so i will right now have to enter about 10 headlines use headlines from the keywords but again we're not using right now because we will our last step is keywords research and management i just copy headlines from the previous campaign powerful training google ads Google Ads Bootcamp. And also, as you see, there's a small uh, chart which allow you to see is, is your company campaign will do better than your competitors. Uh, right now it's average, so I'll keep going. Get access now. Okay, I'll probably stop. Um, descriptions, I can take from previous ads. So what's happening with these headlines when someone typing for services, Google Ads for Beginners, Google will automatically show the best qualified headline and best qualified description. I hope that makes sense. Um, so this is why you create a few description lines. I like to create lots of them, <laughs> like at least four. Okay, and right now, as you see, include popular keywords on your website. Again, we're not working with the keywords right now. If we, when we add like 20 to 100 keywords, this will be go up. So right now, as you see, headlines is okay. Headlines uniqueness is okay and description uniqueness is okay. The problem with keywords, we will go back later. Again, click done and that's it. You can add one more text ad, but I always using two text ads and one responsive. Click save and continue. And we're moving to a billing. Um, so if you would like to withdraw promotion, if you're in the United States and you want to have $150 credit, please uh, send us a message. I would like to give you this promotional code. Uh, since we need to kind of support this program, I would love to help you with this coupon. If not, leave it as it is right now. Um, in the future, we will discuss how can you, you give this credit. Account name, 
uh, this is individual or business I will use as the business we have a business name discover my business so I have submitted billing as you see right now congrats you're all done click explore your campaigns and you can, we can close this pop-up okay and this is actual Google AdWords dashboard on the left side you will see your overview of all of the campaigns you will see recommendations from Google not recommend to use them you'll see campaigns ad groups ads landing pages keywords and so on so on so let's go through the main one on the left side click campaigns and you will have your campaign which we already created over here uh, click your honey or yours one click on the campaign name you see our one a Google ad group click on this ad group you will see all of our keywords and in the left side if you will click ads ads you'll see our ads so this is how you set up professionally uh, Google campaigns ad groups and ads let's go to the next step which is keywords research because this one is really important and most of the people misunderstand how to set this up on the top right you have a tools and settings and you have a keywords planner this is the free tools for Google uh, AdWords users so let's click keywords planner define your keywords try it now so you can discover new potential keywords by adding one or two titles of your services click discover new keywords I will close this right now leaf shoes nope so we're using Google Ads course as example of free Google Ads course then we can add free Google Ads training click comma and space and it will add one more keyword I mean my, one more term uh, then Google Ads program and that's it just get results so right now Google is showing us uh, average monthly searches for particular terms and what is the comp competition and average price so I'm starting with average monthly searches before we go on over there I want to just introduce you to this dashboard on the top left side is location US again I using the it's basically data the more data you have the more possibilities you have to get a highest conversion rate so we use United States English Google uh, only and instead of using last 12 months data I will using all available one so from 2016 as you see number are changed it's allowing us to understand better which keyword are actually performing good so let's start with average monthly searches and competition we're going to Google Ads grants certification make money with Google AdSense none of what we are actually providing Google Ads course awesome this is what we need free Google Ads we already have actually those keywords in account so we kind of buy them this one uh, let make it bigger Google certification program um, we not provide certification program there's a lot of programs by Google but we're not using this one we need to make sure we specifically using keywords which relevant to our services Google AdWords program affiliate marketing certification course online AdSense AdWords program Google Ads grant course free Google grants free Google AdWords training online free as you see most of the clicks to two dollars fifty cents um, top of the page ten dollars never paying that much because we're doing so good research and we structure our campaign as I showed it before we need to make sure that we advertise specific service um, as, a, as example uh, dentist not advertise dental office dentist advertise specific dental implants or art orthodontical services or braces services or crown services and so on we specifically using Google AdWords uh, course or Google AdWords training Google Ads free training us uh, and so on so on Google Ads partner program okay I will use I will I just pick this one uh, then on, you will see five keywords selected 
uh, choose plan or existing campaign. Since we already created a campaign, we click existing campaign, uh, click a name of the campaign, then click add group name of the uh, add group name uh, and type of the keywords which you want to use. Again, start all the time with the broad match and then see how they perform. So we add in the broad match. Awesome. So they have added it over there. Let's close uh, Keywords Planner and go back to our keywords. Okay, so as you see, those keywords are already out here. Our next job is waiting when the ads will be approved and see what the performance will be. Since I advertise in Google Ads training, I can just go to any countries which speak English. If you advertise, uh, if you small business, business advertise, I don't know, uh, let's dentist or lawyer dental implants, you will probably have at least 50 to 100 keywords. Uh, some of the gurus, experts telling you, no, don't do that, split five keywords per ad group. Again, this is not a Facebook platform. You advertise for the people who actually know what they're looking for. You're not advertising to the cold traffic. So instead of like do all of the job of subdividing ad groups, you can basically focusing in one ad group, which allows you to advertise for specific keywords. This ad group will have only specific service or subserves. Uh, I hope that makes sense. Um, so let's wait a couple minutes if the ads will be approved. And by the way, if you are guys looking for free seven days training, when I show you uh, how to create your Google ads with a step-by-step -step for your particular niche, um, we have a specific training. It's uh, out here. let go to johannishvanow.com uh, dash Google ads, pardon, slash Google ads free training and sign up. You will see a seven days training, which is including overview how to how how basically training will work help your business um, and it's the first day second day we will research analyze and prepare for setup so i will show you how to research all of your niche or sub niche or sub services also i will help you and i will show you in this free training seven days training how to analyze your competitors uh, and also i will show you how to prepare your ads keywords extensions next thing next one will be day number four setup and this particular day i will show you how to set up this campaign it's kind of the same video like i have right now the day number five and six is integration test and ROI report and this one i think is most important for local businesses small medium and large businesses for any size actual businesses because and the end of the day, you want to know who is the prospects are, because if you have experience with the Google ads, you probably notice that sometimes you're getting one conversion, two conversions, but we want to go more and we need, we would like to know who are those people who sign up with this conversion. So we, tra we help you, um, I show you how to set up uh, tracking. I help you to set up integration through Zapier to understand um, to understand how to transfer all the contact forms to spreadsheet all the phone calls to spreadsheet and so on and at the end of the day you will see a huge result on the leads it will help you to understand from 100 leads how many actually close and management this is important because each business is different each niche is different and i really want to invite you to this free seven days training and let me know if you would like to join to this training so let's go back to our ads account and see what's happening okay our ads already actually approved and that's it this is the whole strategy behind the scenes um, nothing is difficult just run ads for one two days and of course increase beats if we don't see any clicks within one to two days I'll increase personally to like 40 cents CPC how to do that on the left side click keywords search and you will add those uh, cpc prices out here if you see someone clicked you keep it as it is and increase budget to another keywords 
I hope you like this video. Uh, don't forget to share, subscribe to my channel. And of course, if you want three seven days training, let me know. Click on the bottom below. Thank you guys. Bye.